Hey everyone, my name is Ralph with IMS 3D Printing and Engraving. Uh, today we're going to take a look at um, aluminum business cards. Uh, we're going to go and make a jig where we can set, you know, like 15 of these into the jig. I'm pretty sure the size wood is going to be 300 by 300. and We'll be able to fit 15 of these on one jig. And um, I'll show you the step-by-step -step process and how I did it. Um, I'm going to try using the Creality Falcon um, design space. It's made just for Creality um, lasers, but um, light burn or whatever you guys want to use, it's, it's fine. It's going to be the same way. Um, pretty simple. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. And we'll get started. Thank you. All right, now that we're in design space, we'll go to Canvas. First thing we're going to go do is go ahead and bring in our size of our wood. So we'll draw shape rectangle. And it's 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter. We'll take our business card and measure it real fast. These are the black aluminum business cards right on Amazon. I'll post a link below. These are 86 millimeter by 54 millimeter. Next thing we'll do, as I'm still learning design space here, create a ray, a grid, and we're going to do four. Let's see, can we get six in here? Six by three. We want to give it a little bit of spacing. Let's see if that will fit. That will fit. So we're just going to go ahead and center that in here. It looks like it's centered, but we're going to go ahead and make sure we select it all. Click on the outside box. Align. Center. Sorry, I did that wrong. Let's undo that. What I forgot to do was take it. Now that we have just the inside one selected, we need to group it. So it's under combination group. Take the outer line. Align auto center. Like I said, it looked like it was already centered. We are just going to add a couple bullseyes for alignment. I mean, you don't need to do this if you actually have a waste board or something like that. But since I will not be using a waste board, I'll just be throwing it on a on the machine we'll go ahead and make a circle ten by ten uh, looks like we have a little more space there we could probably do
12s without issue. Actually, let's go ahead and make it 15s. And we're going to put a crosshair in it. So I'm just going to zoom into it. We're going to take the line tool under shape and just put a line right down the middle. And we'll do another one right down this middle. I'm not sure if that actually aligns it dead center or not. I don't see any clicking points that allow me to lock it in. Not sure I don't like that or not. So what happens if I take the two objects, align center. That gets me where I need to be. And we'll do it again with the top line. I mean, it looks like it almost centers, but select it, select the circle, align, center, it did move over a little bit. Zoom in and go ahead and adjust this and maybe it's me but I really wish it would lock in see how there's a little gap there on this one too I mean, technically, I just have to make it 15, right? And drag it down to position. Make that one 15. Click on the circle, align, center. Same thing with this one. Click in the circle. And I'm going to want to group that together. Very touchy.
We'll leave it a little bit to the left there. We're going to try to create an array. We're going to do a grid. We're going to do four, just like that. But the spacing is going to be way up there. 280, perhaps. Can't go any further. It only allows you to go 100. All right, let's try a different word. We'll leave them on there. Click it. Click the outside line. A line. Line at left, and then a line at bottom. We'll take that one. Line left, line top. Take this one. Line right. Line top. And last but not least, line bottom, line right. All right, so we got my four markers on there. Uh, next thing would be this will be a cutout. So we're going to make a new layer. It's going to be a line cut. The black will leave as engraving. We're going to ungroup that. Now I take the two lines and make those into cut layers. I'm going to go ahead and just take everything and group it together so it stays as a solid piece. And that's it. We'll go ahead and frame it, cut it, and I'll show you the results. All right, I'm using basswood board, 300 by 300 at three millimeters. That all looks good. We'll go to camera mode, take a photo. Not sure what's going on with that.
Not a very clean photo, but looks like it's on the spot. We'll frame it and see. And then we'll cut it and move on. Hey, welcome back. Um, now that's done, this is what it looks like. I haven't glued it together. I'm going to put a, another piece of wood behind it. We'll go ahead and glue this together. And um, I'll show you the end result after it's glued. We'll throw some cards in there and take a look at the fitting. And we'll see how it does. All right. All right. Now that I glued it together, this is what it looks like. I threw some cards in there so you can take a look. It's a, it's a little tight, but it's not bending the cards or anything. You just have to turn it over, tap the back to make it come out. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.